Her public career may be said to have begun with her broadcast to the children of the empire during the Battle of Britain, but it was only when war ended that she began to emerge into full publicity as a leading figure in ceremonial and social life. Naturally, most of her appearances were made under the wing of one or both of her parents, but she was accompanied by only by members of her own staff. Her first lady-in-waiting had been appointed in July when she went to Green Knock in November 1944 and launched the great battleship HMS Vanguard. The commissioning of this ship was the principal event of her noble visit to the Northern Ireland. Again, without her parents, in the summer of 1946, it was in the Vanguard that she embarked with the rest of the royal family on February 1st, 1947, for their tour of South Africa and Rhodesia. This was the princess's first journey outside the British Isles and the beginning of her introduction to those dominions beyond the seas over which, equally with the United Kingdom, she will now reign. Although she was content to remain somewhat in background, especially in the early part of the tour, South Africans rapidly became conscious of her as a personality and her character made a great and favorable impression. A speech at the opening of the Graving Dock, named after herself, at East London seemed to mark the emergence of a new representative of the younger generation, and at her coming of age, which she celebrated in Cape Town, she broadcast to the empire, and especially to the young, in vigorous and vibrant terms, which carried the impression farther.